Dr. Kemp here, the Hammer Doc. The OC3 voltage regulator is the most robust tube used in the Leslie 147, 122 amplifier. So it is uh, fairly rare to find a bad OC3, but uh, from time to time, uh, I run across them, especially when I uh, have used tubes that I've received uh, with an amplifier, and I... Uh, We'll take those tubes and I'll put them in a box or they'll come, they'll come boxed up like this. And so what I do is I test them. Here's one that I received with an amplifier and I want to show you that an OC3 can uh, test bad. If it tests bad on my BNK uh, 747 solid state mutual conductance, dynamic mutual conductance tube tester, it is not a tube you would want to use in a Leslie amplifier. Okay, so I test this one for shorts, grid emission. Watch this one. I hit test one. Everything is set up now, of course, because I've been testing other OC3s today. And look at what this one tests. In the bad zone here. So this OC3... You see it's lighting up there. Must be rejected. This is a uh, Solvtech made in Russia. OC3. Now I have another one over here. Uh, this is a CBS made in the USA. Let's put that one in. Give it a few seconds to warm up. If you have a BNK 747, you may not be able to find the OC3 in this uh, setup chart. So I have it, uh, the information that has to be used for setting up the OC3 written down here it was provided for me or provided to me by the person that calibrated my tube tester. All right. So here we go. No shorts, no grid emission, and this tube. So it's lighting up here, see? Lighting up. It's testing bad. So even if it's in that questionable range, I would not use this tube. Alright? That's a bad OC3. So, um, and I wanted, I wanted to do this in response to uh, several people that I've uh, heard mentioned that they've never seen a bad OC3 tube. And uh, to let you know that just because you have a good looking OC3 tube sitting in your or installed in your Leslie amplifier doesn't mean that it is actually good. You need to uh, try that OC3 out, uh, test it. I like to I like to test my tubes uh, before they're used in my amplifiers. Of course, the best tester of a tube is the amplifier, the circuit that you install it in. No question about that. And that's and, I, and that's I mean that's understood. But um, I wanted to show you that an OC3 can actually test bad on a tube tester. How would an OC3? Uh, what what is a what does a good OC3 look like on this tube tester? Well, let me show you. Let's take a OC3. Here's a Sylvania made in the USA. All right. Give it a few seconds to warm up. And 
and um, you'll see what a good OC3 would test like. Check for shorts, check for grid emission, and as soon as you hit it, as soon as you hit that test button, this is what a new OC3 does. See that right there? It goes off the chart. Boom. Just like that. See, look at that. That's what a that's how a RCA, new RCA OC3, or a new Sylvania RC3, that's how it tests on this tube tester. That thing goes on up past 120. And so I know that I have a good tube when that happens. All right. All right, that's what I wanted to share with you today. This is Dr. Kemp, the Hammond Doc, saying to you, peace out.